Welcome to another episode of Gospel in Spade. Today we're going to look at the newly discovered and published Jerobel inscription, which has been dated to around the late 12th or early 11th centuries BC. The link to the report and images used can be found in the description of this video. These pottery shirts with writing upon them in brown ink were only recently discovered in 2019 at the site of Kirbet el Rahe, just four kilometers to the west of Lachish. The shirts were found in a stone-lined storage silo that at some point was used as a rubbish dump. Based upon the style of writing used on the shirts and the context of where they were found, it appears that these shirts were dumped somewhere between the late 12th or early 11th centuries BC. The inscriptions have been translated and according to the report published only this week, the alphabetic script spells the name Jerubel. The meaning of the name can be translated into English as Let Baal contend against him. The name is significant as this was the same nickname given to the biblical judge Gideon by his father Joash in Judges chapter 6 verses 31 to 32 after Gideon had destroyed his father's place of worship to the god Baal. It is unclear as to whether this inscription is a direct reference to the biblical judge of the same name or not. Though the dating of the inscription to the latter pair of the times of the judges could make this a possibility. At this point however, this identification cannot be proven one way or another. However, what this inscription at the very least does show is that the biblical name given to Gideon was obviously in use during the latter part of the judges period. Possibly it was even made popular because of Gideon's famous judgeship over Israel. This artifact helps therefore to demonstrate the reliability and authenticity of the biblical book of Judges. Thank you for watching. As always, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new content every Friday.